Hello everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie Colours and thank you for joining me today. I am here with my February plans video today and um, I'm quite excited about these. So I, way back in probably November or December, I did a kind of winter months plans video which kind of went out the window and didn't end up happening for the most part. I did do some pages but not all of the ones. Um, so. I kind of scrapped that and then I was contacted by the wonderful Katie from The Colouring Angel a couple of weeks ago who asked me if I would like to join her in doing a month-long colouring hashtag over on Instagram. So the hashtag is um, colour in February. I will put that up on the screen up here and I am as I say doing it with the wonderful The Colouring Angel and we would love for you to join in. So as part of that hashtag I will pop the graphic up here. Katie has done a lot of work and I'm just kind of riding on the coattails of what she's done but the amazing Katie has come up with several prompts. There's eight prompts in total um, to help you choose some pages for colour in February. And we really hope that you will join us and colour some pages with us. As a bit of added fun, she's done a little a kind of um, status thing for you. So if you manage to colour one page, you are goblin status. If you manage to do four pages, you get dragon status. And if you manage a whole eight pages, you become fairy status. So I am really hoping that I can at least get to dragon status. <laughs> Seriously hoping I can get to fairy status. That's what I'm aiming for. But we'll see how we go. But we would love for you to join us. So use the hashtag colour in February. Um, tag both myself at Geordie Colours and the Colouring Angel at the Colouring Angel, which I will have up on screen and all listed down below. And um, I'm going to go through and share with you my plans for the different prompts. Um, basically, there are eight prompts and I have chosen several pages for each prompt. The idea being that I will have one page from each prompt done by the end of the month. So I'm not going to be doing all of the pages that I show you today, but I just wanted a variety of pages a, to show you what could fit for each prompt, and B, just because I like to be able to um, see where the mood is taking me on the day. So I <laughs> um, don't like to commit to things too, too much. So I've got a wide variety of pages. But I have concentrated on books that um, are untouched, pretty much. So some have one or two pages in them, but most of these are untouched books, and I would really like to get to. So I'm going to pop these off to the side and we're going to start with prompt number one, which is fairy tale stories. Now that prompt is to colour a picture with any, sorry, colour a page with any book in it. So it can be lots of books, it can be one book, interpret it this however you like, but a page with a book in it. So I will show you the pages that I have selected. From Worlds With One Worlds by Kirby Rosans, I have the wonderful book waterfall page. Um, I have I'd long admired this page and I really, really like it. it. does intimidate me slightly because there's so many um, books, so many little details to do, but um, I think this one is a lot of fun. So that's a possibility from Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosans. Next up, I have Rooms of Wonder by Johanna Basford. And again, this is an uncolored book. Sorry, uh, Worlds Within Worlds, I actually have one page completed, but this one I have none. And I chose this page. Why did I choose this page? No, I didn't. This is for a different prompt. I chose this page. <laughs> this one. I chose this page for the fairy tale stories prompt because it's got lots of books in it. And it is a lovely little, um, I mean, this would be my ideal little reading nook, really. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. So I really like this page. It would be a lot of fun to colour. So that is a possibility I'm thinking of from Rooms of Wonder by Johanna Basford. Then I have Romantic Country. This is the first Romantic Country book by Eerie. And in this one I have, let's scoot this over a bit, the Henry's Books Bookshop Front. I guess it's a shop front. Um, and again, loads of books, lots of detail in this page, um, but it is beautiful, uh, really lovely page. And again, an uncolored book, so I would really like to get to this one. So that is a possibility for the fairy tale stories prompt. 
that's Romantic Country by Eerie. And finally, for this prompt, I have Lost and Found by RJ Hampson. And I have, again, this is an uncolored book. And I have this page, which I think is just gorgeous. It's kind of like a little treehouse library with all the animals and all the little books everywhere. There's a little girl down here reading her story, curled up with the tiger who's fast asleep. A little fox reading his book. Um, I just think this page is magical. Love it. Um, but again, lots of detail. So we will see. But hopefully I'm going to choose one of those pages for that prompt. So that is the fairy tale stories prompt. And that last page was from Lost and Found by RJ Hampson. Okay, next up we have prompt number two, which is Happily Ever After. Now this prompt urges you to color a page with a couple in it. So this could be a, a couple of people, or it could be a couple of animals. Um, so again, I've chosen loads of pages for this prompt, but the page that I think I'm going to do is probably the one I'm gonna show you last. So I'm gonna start with A Million Mermaids by Lulu Mayo. And for this one, I found this page with the little seahorses in it. Um, this would also work for the Under the Sea prompt, which is going to be the next prompt I talk about. But this could be a really cute one to do with the little couple of seahorses there. So that's from A Million Mermaids by Lulu Mayo. Then I have um, A Million Unicorns by Lulu Mayo, and I found a few different pages in this book. So I have this one with the hugging bears and then there's also a pair of unicorns here. So that would work. I also have these two pages, which I think are kind of cool for Valentine's Day because they're heart shaped and you have a pair of unicorns in each page. So I thought that was quite cute for that prompt. So those are from A Million Unicorns by Lulu Mayer. Again, both of these are uncolored books, so I would love to get to those. Next up, I have a very new to me book, which is Crystal Vogel's Osmol Reese. I think I'm saying that right, Osmol Rice, maybe. Um, I'm not gonna try and pronounce this book because I'll completely butcher it. But um, this is a beautiful book. And as I say, it's brand new to me. And I thought this page worked quite well for this prompt with the little couple, happy couple. They look like they've just got married <laughs> in their little kind of mushroom carriage. Um, and I thought that was quite a sweet one and quite a good one for this prompt. So that's Crystal Vogel's Osmol Race. And then I have Soulmates by Hannah Carlson. You can see I kind of went crazy with this prompt. There were tons. And in this one, I have this page with the two little seahorses again. Um, it's a double page spread, so it would take a bit more work. But again, this would work for two prompts. It would work for the next one, which is Under the Sea and the um, happily ever after prompt. So could be a possibility. But the, the one that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do is from Enchanted Earth by Malpameni Chatsapanagitu. And this one is going to be a buddy color with the wonderful Erica from Elm Colors. And we have chosen this page with the gorgeous hummingbirds. So it works for happily ever after because there's a pair um, and I just think this is going to be such a beautiful page to do. So really looking forward to doing this one. Um, so that is from Enchanted Earth by Malpa Many Chats Panagitu. Okay, prompt number three is Under the Sea, as I've already told you. And for this one, it's pretty straightforward. Colour a picture with a mermaid or an undersea scene in it. So for this one, I have several pages. <laughs> um, so from Worlds of Wonder, again, another uncoloured colouring book. This is by Johanna Basford. I have this page. I think this one is just beautiful. Would really like to do this one. So that is a possibility from Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Basford. And then I have... Again, A Million Mermaids by Lulu Mayo. And for this one, I have this kind of little mermaid page. I think this is super cute. But again, this one would work for both the Happily Ever After and Under the Sea prompt. So that's from A Million Mermaids. From A Million Unicorns, I have this page. Now, I picked this one because it's a bit simpler. 
and I have chosen a lot of very detailed pages for this. So I'm thinking that I might need a simpler page to sink my teeth into and give myself a bit of a break. So this is a possibility for that one. So this is a cute little page from A Million Unicorns by Lulu Mayo. Another one from Crystal Vogel's Osmol Rice, which is this one um, with the little mermaid and her little friends. I thought that was super cute. Um, so that could be a fun one to do for this prompt. Again, there's that page in Soulmates by Hannah Carlson, which I showed you already with the pair of seahorses and the beautiful mermaid. Where is she? This one, so a lovely underwater scene, but again, double page spread, so it's a, it's a big one. <laughs> it could take a lot of work, but it is beautiful. So that one is from Soulmates by Hannah Carlson. And finally, I have Romantic Country, The Second Tale by Eerie. And in this one, again, another uncolored book, I have this beautiful page with the shipwreck. And I'm really drawn to this one. I love this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So lots of possibilities for that prompt of Under the Sea. And I'm looking forward to seeing which one I decide to do on the day. Okay, prompt number four is Magical Companions. And this is to color a page with a magical friend in it. So it could be a unicorn, it could be a dragon, it could be a fairy. It's kind of open to interpretation. So whatever you consider to be a magical friend, please feel free. So I have from a Tales of the, from the Witch's Cottage by Hannah Carlson, I have this page, which I think is so cute. Um, a little bunny fairy. <laughs> so what could be better than a magical bunny fairy companion? Um, I just thought this was a beautiful page. I really love it. So that is a possibility from Tales from the Witch's Cottage. Then I have this one. I never remember the name. World of Fairy Tales by Eerie. Um, and in this one I have this page, which is the Wizard of Oz page, and I thought this was really cute because you've got, um, Al uh, I was going to say Alice in Wonderland, <laughs> you've got Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz with her magical companions, you've got Tin Man, you've got the Scarecrow, and you've got the Cowardly Lion, and I presume this is the Emerald City and the Yellow Brick Road they're walking along, so this could be a really fun page to do. So that one is from World, what did I say, World of Fairy Tales by Eerie. Uh, then I have Fairy and Fantasy Grayscale Colouring Book by Christine Karen. And for this one, there's a couple of pages in here. So I love this page with the little girl and her gorgeous little dragon. I think of that as absolutely adorable. And then I have this one as well with the young lady and her gorgeous unicorn. So both great magical companion pages. So those are from a Fairy and Fantasy Grayscale Colouring Book by Christine Karen. And the final one for this, oh sorry, no, I've got two more. I have A Moonlight Mischief by RJ Hampson. And in this book, there is this page with the gorgeous dragon and castle. Now this could work for another prompt that's coming up as well, um, but I really like this page, so that could be a possibility. So that one is from A Moonlight Mischief by RJ Hampson. And the final one for this prompt is from Johanna Basford's Small Victories. And I just thought if I'm getting, you know, bogged down with lots of detailed pages, I could flip to this one, which is a nice small little page with the two dragons on it. So I thought that worked perfectly. So that's Small Victories by Johanna Basford. And that is it for the Magical Companions prompt. Okay, next up we have the prompt, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly. And for this page, we ask you to color a picture with a winged creature in it. Now this can be anything, use your imagination. So I have Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. I found loads in Hannah Carlson's books um, because her pages are filled with butterflies and dragonflies and birds, all of which are perfect for this prompt. So there is this page, which I think is just beautiful really love this one. So that's Summer Nights. Then I have Soulmates. Um, again, the beautiful dragonfly page. I thought this was gorgeous, really lovely. And of course, if you wanted to do 
both <laughs> you could i probably would only do the one for now but really love this page so that's from soulmates then i have and of course soulmates would be a really good one for that happily ever after one because there's lots of pairs isn't there but um i just decided to choose other books for that one this one is seasons by hannah carlson and i have this page with the birds and the kind of dripping icicles which i thought was quite good for this time of year hopefully everybody is thawing out <laughs> so that is another possibility and then finally for this you can fly prompt i have a fairy and fantasy grayscale coloring book by christine caron and i have this page with this beautiful little fairy and of course she's got wings and there are flying butterflies in the background so this would definitely work really like this page so those are my possibilities for the you can fly you can fly you can fly prompt okay prompt number six is 12 dancing princesses and as the name would suggest this is to ask you to color a page with music or dancing portrayed in it so for this one i have chosen johanna basford's rooms of wonder and i have this page which is a bit of a stretch for this prompt but there is a guitar and there is a gramophone so i figured that would work <laughs> I'm not sure if I will do this page because it is very detailed and I don't know if it's meant to be a double page spread or if these are like two separate rooms um, but you could even do this page because there are um, what did I see a trumpet so there is an instrument on this page as well but yep yeah, I'm not sure about this one but I do like it so we will see yeah how we go so that's Rooms of Wonder by Johanna Basford then I have this beautiful book, which is Erie's World Literature Book. And this one, I have this beautiful dancing princess or girl in it. And I think she's lovely. Um, so this could be a really fun one to do. I really like this and I could imagine it. Lots of beautiful jewel toned colors. So that could be a really fun one to do. So that is Erie's World Literature. I always have to write that on the inside so I remember <laughs> which one is which. Then I have RJ Hampson's Lost and Found colouring book. And on this one we have... Oh, not that one. Ignore that. <laughs> I'm picking up the wrong one. Uh, sorry, we'll go to Crystal Vogel's Osmoris, which is this page with the little um, singing birds and the little kind of... Are they elves? Chorus. <laughs> I think that's kind of cute. So that would be a good one for this prompt. You could even just color this guy with his little drum here. That would be quite fun. That's Osmolaris by Crystal Vogel. Then I have a Fairy and Fantasy Grayscale Coloring Book 2 by Christine Karen. And in this one, we have this beautiful one called Summer Night Fiddler. This is just stunning. And I think that could be really beautiful. Um, so that's a possibility from A Fairy and Fantasy 2 by Christine Karen. Then I have RJ Hampson's A Frog Tail. This is the one I was thinking of, Frog's Tail. There's two in this one. So we have this cute little page here called Musical Interlude with all the little um, band members there. Mr. Fogarty is playing his, is it um, a viola? Is that what it's called? <laughs> I think that one's super cute. And then we have the other one with the frogs on the pond and they're all kind of having a little jam session. And um, this one is called Night Song. So both of those would be fun possibilities. That's from A Frog's Tale by RJ Hampson. And finally, I have the Tales from the Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson. And for this one, there was a fun little page here with the little mouse and his banjo, which I thought was kind of cute. So that is another possibility. Really like that one. So that's Tales from the Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson, and that is for the prompt, the um, 12 Dancing Princesses. Okay, prompt number seven is There's No Place Like Home. And this is the prompt to color a page with a house or a castle or a cottage or a dwelling place of some kind in it. 
So for this one, I have gone for Daydreams by Hannah Carlson. And Hannah Carlson's books, again, are a plethora of a kind of house, little house type creatures and things inside. So there is this one with the snail. But literally, if you flick through Hannah Carlson's books, you will see there are literal tons of kind of castle-y looking um, pages with um, buildings and things on it. So you could flick through Hannah Carlson and find a plenty that would fit for this prompt. So that's from Daydreams. And then I have Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Bassford. And I chose this. I love this page. Absolutely adore this page. Um, yeah, really, really love this one. So that is a possibility. Then that's sorry, that's Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Bassford. Then another Hannah Carlson book. I have Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. And there is this page, which I really like with the kind of castle and the berries. That could be a really fun one to do. So that's Summer Nights. And Enchanted Forest by Johanna Bassford. I found two in here. So You've got this one. Well, that's actually more, but these are the ones that I kind of was drawn to. So this one with the um, toadstool and the castle on top, which I think is kind of a fun one. And then this one, which is um, the shield, the castle in the shield. So I had actually coloured this page in the other version of this book that I have. Um, but it would be, I did that many years ago. So it would be quite fun to revisit this page and have a go at doing it again. Um, but that's a possibility, so we will see. So that's from Enchanted Forest by Johanna Bassford. And finally, for this prompt, I have Tales from the Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson. And in this one, I have this cute page, which I really love. So that is a possibility. So I could choose any one of those pages. I'm not sure. <laughs> we will see how we go. But those are ones that I'm definitely drawn to. So that's Tales from the Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson. And that was for the prompt, There's No Place Like Home. Okay, the final prompt is Mother Knows Best. And this is colour a page with a villain character on it. Now for this prompt, I have chosen Kirby Roseanne's books because it was really easy to go through Kirby Roseanne's books and find villain type characters. So this is Mythomorphia. And um, for this one, I mean, these guys are kind of cute. They're not really scary looking, um, but they're both trolls. So I guess they could be considered villain type characters. So you've got the forest troll and the mountain troll, which would work. But to be honest, um, there's quite a few villain type characters in this book. Uh, this one that I've already colored in, it could be considered a villain type character. We've got these creatures here. Um, so several in this book would work for this prompt, but yeah, I, I really like those pages. So um, I'm quite drawn to doing one of these two. We'll see how we go. So that's Mythomorphia. Then I have Mythic World by Kirby Rosans. And for this one, I found this page. And I mean, you can't get much more kind of villain type than Baba Yaga, can you? <laughs> she is scary looking. And I've seen some amazing renditions of this page. So that could be an interesting one to do. But again, tons and tons of pages in this book would work for this prompt. Um, so yeah, you could go to town choosing something from this book for this prompt. So that's Mythic World. But the page I know I am definitely doing for this prompt comes from Alien Worlds. And this is because I am doing it as a buddy colour with the wonderful Katie from The Colouring Angel. And we have chosen this crazy moth-like creature. Um, looking forward to doing this one. I think I can go kind of crazy with colours. <laughs> it is an alien. It's kind of scary looking, so I think it works for the uh, villain type character. Um, but again, there are literally tons and tons and tons of villain looking characters in this book that you could um, take your pick from. I mean, this guy looks kind of scary. Um, so yeah, you could really go to town, but this is the one that we've decided to do as our buddy color this month. So I'm looking forward to doing that one. So that is from Alien Worlds by Kirby Rosans. And that is all of the prompts, everything complete. So eight prompts in total. 
Um, and as I say, the hashtag is Colour in February, hosted by myself and the wonderful Katie from The Colouring Angel. We do hope that you will join us and colour some pages with us and have a little bit of fun. It'll be fun to see everybody else's completed pages. Really looking forward to that. Um, remember to use that hashtag and remember to tag both of us in on Instagram. Um, and we would love to see what you color. Um, I will leave all the details in the description box below so you can just read through at your pleasure and <laughs> figure out what to do. But we really hope that you'll join us for this. It's gonna be so much fun. Thank you for joining me today and looking at some of my February plans. We'll see how many I get done. Um, like I say, I'm really hoping I can get at least one page for each of the prompts done. That's the, that's the goal. So fingers crossed <laughs> that will happen. Um, thank you again for joining me and take care.